Hi and welcome to uh, another Mogstat uh, video. I'm just lining this screen up. Uh, I can't seem to alter the volume of this opening screen so I'll just have to speak louder. Uh, basically I'm just going to quickly go through character creation. Uh, and obviously you create a character, you choose the gender, I'm going to choose a male. You're restricted to uh, four races on the free version, the Erudite, which are sort of quite intelligent race. Barbarian, which are sort of strong. Gnomes, which are nimble. And humans, which are the sort of average. Uh, you're also restricted to a number of classes and where the barbarians concerned you're restricted restricted to a warrior and a rogue whereas i guess with a human you can be a wizard a warrior a rogue or a cleric the erudite you can be a wizard or a cleric and the gnome cleric rogue, you can be any of the four well, I'll create a barbarian rogue. So I selected barbarian, I selected rogue. Your deity, it, you know, early on it doesn't make it that much difference at all. I tend to go agnostic. I'm going to click this tutorial button off because traditionally they're annoying. Uh, so we've got a rogue, bloke. I'm going to do his appearance. They all tend to have brown eyebrows, so one would. I tend to make their uh, hair brown, otherwise, it looks like they've dyed it. So I'll get one that doesn't look too gross. They look pretty much the same. He looks okay. So uh, I don't like his haircut. That was more. And uh, his hair colour, as I say, I'm going to make it brown. His facial hair. I'm going to make that brown as well. Oops. I suppose that technically could be a little bit white. Okay. No, brown. Yeah, make it like that. Put some tattoos on him. Just some blue things. Uh, probably got brown eyes actually. Green eyes are nice. So anyway, you get your sort of character made up how you want. And then... You've got any points to spend, so we'll just leave that. You've got to choose a name, and the traditionally the pain choosing names. I tend to spend hours. I'll call him Braun and see if he'll have that. No, don't like it. But Brawny. No. Uh, barbarian name. Brawn with two W's. Yay. So we're going into uh, Crescent Reach at the moment. It's loaded up down here at the bottom. It's got some uh, additional information here on housing. This music is a pain in the bum. But we'll uh, persevere. Right, so we're in the game, and the first thing you'll be uh, you'll encounter is all these windows that are open, and you've got a book on your cursor. So I guess the first thing to do is press I for inventory, and drop that book in there for now. 
Uh, it, it looks a little bit daunting at, at first, but the good thing is, is if once you've set this up for one character on one server, you can copy the layout it, it, using this window here. But I'm going to assume that you haven't done that, so I'm going to close that window. There's some info here that you can read if you want. I'm not. Uh, and then you've got to sort of sort out your your user interface to make it so you know it's acceptable. Now the way I do it is this is this I know this one is the uh, your target. So I like that up there right at the top. So and I've targeted a mob uh, I know where it is and I also like to see how my health is in comparison to the mob I'm beating on so I tend to put that just below it and then I tend to group up so I need uh, my group's health and statistics there so I tend to put that on the on the left uh, I'm just gonna move some things in the middle Songs there for bards, if you group with a bard, an icon will flash up in here. I'm not going to be grouping with a bard anytime soon, and if I do, I don't really care what song he's playing, so I'm going to close that one. However, I am interested in what buffs I have on at the moment, and a buff is uh, a magical enhancement that a fellow player may cast on you, like extra strength or whatever. This window selector, uh, I want it to go away. There's no X in it. Go away. No, I don't know what that is. Just leave that for now. Extended tag, no idea what that is. I'm getting rid of it. The, the main windows that you're interested in is, is a, a couple of sort of chat windows. And. Uh, rid of these things and close it there we go this is going to hold uh, your standard hotkey so that, that that's an important one and seeing as it's long and thin I'll just put it down there uh, the, 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 the. I'm gonna main chat is going to be a big one so I'm gonna put that down there other chat. Oh, no, I'm just going to get rid of that for now. These actions they may be handy for you uh, initially. I know to sit, I can press Control S, for instance, uh, and toggle it with Control S. I don't, I don't need this, but I think if you haven't played EverQuest before, it's probably a good idea to leave it around. Uh, this button is also important, not the top one, this blue one, because this is where you set up just about everything. So you sort of need them somewhere. I'm going to do window, new chat window for starters. And I'm going to rename it to combat. Uh, and the reason is I like to have see what I'm hitting for what I'm getting hit for to determine whether I'm uh, winning or not you know the battle and if you have that appearing in your main chat and someone sends you a message you might miss it during the fight so I like the combat stuff all in one window 